Greetings, Trekkies and Trekkers. Thank you so much for your continued support. I cannot do what I do without you. And today, Remembering Star Trek continues with a look at my favorite movie in the Star Trek franchise, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. So why is this my favorite movie out of all of them? Well, for a couple reasons. Reason number one, there's no real big bad villain in this one. Second of all, the humor is actually really well executed, and finally, it's just a really, really great movie, and I freaking love it. Um, so what's the plot of this movie? Well, basically, after the events of Star Trek III, the Enterprise crew are, are headed home, back to Earth, but unfortunately there's this alien probe that's wrecking stuff, or, well, not wrecking stuff, but, well, messing up the planet, pretty much. So the Enterprise crew had to figure out what's going on, and then they realize that the the Singular Pro makes is from is basically humpback whales. Sam so they have to go back in time to 1986, pick up some humpback whales, and then go back to their own time, and then and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it. So yeah. So is there anything bad about this movie? Anything that I feel is a little bit nitpicky, well, no, not really. I mean, there's really not much bad about this movie. I mean, there are lots of good things in it, but not anything necessarily bad or awful or just meh. I mean, there's nothing like that at all, like that at all in this movie. Plus the fact that this movie is probably the only one ever that doesn't have, like, a main villain to go up against is actually kind of well, refreshing for once. I mean, yeah, sure, you consider the probe and a threat or something like that, or a villain, but it's not really well destroyed at the end. It just goes away after having its com after having conversation with humpback whales. And that's something interesting about this movie that the whole theme of the movie is that not all alien communication is directed toward human beings. I mean, that's what we normally think when alien beings show up, they want to talk to us, but in this case, that's not true. The aliens actually want to talk to another species rather than just talking to us humans because, well, as it turns out, humans are not the only intelligent beings on the face of the planet. But still, it is kind of interesting when you think about it like that. And the movie does a really good job at communicating that. And yeah, that's pretty much why this movie works as well as it does. And it is really good. And not to mention, at the time, it was the most financially successful film in the Star Trek franchise, well, at least until Star Trek Into Darkness came around and pretty much took that title. So, yeah. But still, Star Trek for The Voyage Home is a really, really good movie, and there's a lot of enjoyment in it, there's a lot of things to like about it. Um, there's really, like I said, there's really not much bad in this movie as much as, some as, as, much as like, the odd-numbered Star Trek movies, but this one being one of the even ones is really, really good, and I like that. So, yeah. And, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that this was also the... Excuse me. If the, that this was also the last Star Trek film that Leonard Nimoy directed, unfortunately. So, yeah. <laughs> but still, Star Trek for The Voyage Home is just a really, really fun movie, and if I had to pick a favorite scene, it'd probably have to be uh, when Chekhov is asking where the nuclear vessels are. <laughs> oh, that scene gets me every time. But, yeah. But still, anyway. But still, Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Awesome, awesome movie. Watch it if you have the chance. It is really, really good. And, yeah, I know some people out there may not actually like Kevin Hicks' performance in this movie. But she's actually not that bad. And also there's the fact that she went on to star in Seventh Heaven along with Stephen Collins who played Will Decker in Star Trek The Motion Picture and yeah, so, yeah. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Next week, start, next week, Remembering Star Trek will continue when I look at my least favorite Star Trek movie of all time and the one I consider to be the worst Star Trek movie ever in the franchise. And that, of course... Is Star Trek V The Final Frontier? Yay. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. And so, until then, 
Live long and prosper.